I'm Jenny of Pampering by LJ, and welcome to my dining room. some weeks, I've been on a health journey that I'm continuing for the rest of my life. And as part of that plan, every evening when I sit down for dinner, I try to focus on having a healthy, balanced meal. And so for the last several weeks, probably the last several months actually, I have recorded videos of all my nightly meals that I have and I put them into a compilation video of anywhere from three minutes to five minutes long. And I come up with my meal plan for the following week and I upload those to this YouTube channel. It's my hope that in sharing these types of videos with you, it will also give you some ideas for meals for you to have either by yourself or with your family. I always put in the description box below this video several things for you. Those several things are my keeper recipe videos because I do go back and shoot how-to videos on the recipes that James and I truly love and we repeat all the time. These are the meals I had last week and the plan for next. It's Monday night and I have decided I am going to use up all of my leftovers in my fridge before I cook anything else this week. So tonight it's my zucchini pizza casserole that I have left over from last week. I roasted some chicken this week and yes, made a recipe video for you to watch on that. You can find that in the description box below, but the next several little clips of what I ate for dinner involved using that roasted chicken. I roasted enough to get four meals out of it. Here's my lean and green for tonight. So it's kind of a cob salad. So I boiled some eggs. So I've got one egg on there and then I roasted some chicken for three and a half ounces. Then I also have one ounce of cheese on there. So that rounds out my protein that I need. And then I have one and a half ounce of avocado for a healthy fat, and then two tablespoons of my salad dressing for a couple of condiments. Using four ounces of my leftover roasted chicken tonight to make a delicious meal. So I'm gonna have four ounces of the chicken breast, two ounces of the light cheese, so that'll give me six ounces of protein that I need. And then in here, I am stir frying some peppers, scallions, a little bit of garlic that for two and a half servings of vegetables I'm about a half short didn't have quite enough peppers to make three servings but two and a half servings of vegetables in there and then I'll put it all together and show you what I have here's my linen green for tonight and it'll taste just like chicken fajitas it's uh, four ounces of my leftover roasted chicken stir-fried with um, two and a half servings of the mini bell peppers with some scallions and then topped with two ounces of cheese melted in there and then for my healthy fat one and a half ounces of smashed avocado. So great dinner complete lean and green delightful delightful way to use that roasted chicken in my opinion to take a little video of what James does with his leftover roasted chicken. Now you can't see it underneath the mozzarella too much, maybe a little bit, but he takes the um, cauliflower um, little crust, I can't remember what they're called now, I'll look them up in just a second, and bakes those in the oven and then tops them with the chicken and some mozzarella cheese. And these are the jalapeno flavors. It is time for our turkey pepperoni pizza lean and green tonight. So I make this on the light cauliflower crust and it counts as a complete lean and green and two condiments. And for those of you that are curious about calories, 
I calculated it with all of the things that I use, turkey pepperoni, light mozzarella cheese, the crust itself, and the Rayo's marinara sauce. And it counts for 399 calories for the entire pizza. Of those, 23 grams are fat and then 18 grams for total carbs. I didn't subtract the fiber, um, but if you're a person that does low carbs, so total carbs are 18 grams for this one. Here's my linen green for tonight. So it is the Kevin's barbecue, Korean barbecue chicken with some zoodles. Just preparing my Instacart order for pickup for tomorrow and here's the meal plan for this next week. So I'm planning on a big pot on Monday of the Instapot cheesy beef cabbage and tomato soup. That makes six big servings so I gotta remember that so I'll have leftovers. Tuesday night I'm gonna do some chicken tenders in my air fryer with some green beans. And then Wednesday night I'm going to roast some chicken and have a salad. I've got an after school meeting Wednesday night, so it needs to be quick. And then Thursday night, I'm going to have leftovers. Friday night, leftovers. And then Saturday, we're going out for Valentine's Day. So we're going to have dinner out. We're planning on Mexican for Valentine's Day. Sounds really good. And then Sunday, I'll be making zucchini pizza casserole. So as I go in then to the following week, I'll have some leftovers too for that. So here's our meal plan for this next week. If you find these types of videos helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you do two things. I'm trying to grow my channel. So underneath this YouTube video on YouTube, there are two things. A like button so if you give me a thumbs up that's great or if you subscribe to my channel and you can do that right below this video too it helps grow my channel it's surprising to me that I'm over 400 subscribers I started this channel of a little bit a year over a year ago and I, I'm just astonished that so many people watch me and follow my videos some of these meal planning videos, these short ones, are the most popular ones. So that would really help me out if you would like it or subscribe below, especially if you like these types of videos.